So you're all very, very welcome to this call this morning and I'm very, very excited to be sharing with you a glimpse of Dar es Salaam, uh, a glimpse of what happened in Dar es Salaam. And of course, um, I have been I have been referred to severally as the storyteller. Yesterday, we had an opportunity to share from uh, to hear from Jesse as he was sharing the lessons learned. And uh, today, I would just like to take you throughout the journey just for you to have a feel of what Dar es Salaam was about. And if you're on this call and you missed this event, maybe you today, you are going to get some inspiration of what happened and um, in uh, what happened in pictures so that you can, you know, also catch on the excitement. So, yes, so I would like to start off by thanking God that we, all of us, were able to travel, travel safely and come back safely. And here we are, ready to build the business once again. Okay. So, um, yes. Uh, so, first of all, um, I think you can all see uh, some of us had an opportunity. I think these are the people who traveled by road to visit one of the most famous beaches in Dar es Salaam called the Sawasawa Beach. And I remember last year we had an opportunity to have our white and our all white dinner being hosted at Sawasawa beach so i think you can see the excitement you can see you know um uh how people were dressed they were really really in the mood of having lifestyle so maybe just before we proceed i would just like to share something uh as president's team members we had an opportunity to uh to sleep at the serena hotel Dar es Salaam. And uh, one Sorry. of those mornings. Um, then it just lights are not moving. Eh? Okay. Okay, thanks. So um, one of those mornings when we were having breakfast, um, we uh, had a chat with Rico Brown, with Francis, the Chief of Operations for Whole of Africa, and, uh, and um, Fred. And we were giving them, and yes, Andrew McDermott, and we were giving them feedback. Um, we told them that um, it's a fantastic thing that our, our business, uh, our leadership summit is in Dar es Salaam because it gives an opportunity for our team to travel. So they were very excited about that because on the team, we actually usually move the longest journey. So today I would just like to take you through what it was like to be uh, in Dar es Salaam this time around. So of course, many of us had an opportunity to, um, to travel, especially those for the very, very first time. And uh, of course, some people traveled by air and uh, of course, the traveling started on Sunday, other people on Monday, other people on Tuesday. So depending on which group had you were traveling with. So uh, personally, I had an opportunity to travel with a team from with Rwanda Air. Uh, some people traveled by Air Tanzania, other people traveled by Uganda Airlines, other people traveled by Kenya Airways. So it didn't matter. All that mattered is how you get to Dar es Salaam. So uh, for the team that traveled with us, it was quite exciting because uh, we we had an opportunity to, um, <laughs> our flight was actually canceled when we got to uh, Rwanda. So what happened was they told us to, to um, that they were taking us out of the, 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 the airport to go to Chigali and guess what? 
people were excited. I've never met people who are excited when um a flight is cancelled as one uh, maybe the people in Rwanda air wondered where does this bunch of excited people come from so they took us to a very beautiful hotel and while we were there we had time to rest other people had time to go to the sauna steam bath swim we had very good meals and while we were there you know of course we had an opportunity to interact relax everybody had their own room yeah so you can imagine and the hotel was very beautiful so we took a detour and of course we had to leave in the evening to go to the airport to travel to Dar es Salaam so it was exciting and on my right hand side I have a video let me see if it will play um okay I think you can see Susan. Susan, very, very excited. One of the people who was traveling on a plane for their very first time. So it is very, very exciting to travel with people and they're excited. And some of them are experiencing all this for the very first time. So uh, I was equally excited because of everything that was going on. So that is the team that traveled. Uh, by air now we also have a team we also have a team that traveled by road and of course um i've done this trip i think two to three times to dar es salaam by road and i want to say that it's an interesting adventure and if you're on this call if you've never tried it out maybe you need to do you need to try it out because it's it's something worth ticking the box so I think you can see you can even use the chat room just to share who do you see <laughs> yeah who do you see I know you there are some people that you see you know who are always with you who are always training so that is the team by road and this was led by of course Sarah, Nuwavine, Omoe, Tamim and that is how they traveled and of course, uh, we have short clips and videos. Ooh. Okay, so that is the team that tra traveled by bus. So very well represented. Yesterday, we were at the training center and they were sharing their stories of how exciting the bus trip was, you know. And I think it's it's a good idea. This is something everybody must do to travel by road to Dar es Salaam. The journey is long. It took them about, I think, two days. But guess what? They were equally excited. I think it's one thing to travel, but it's another thing to travel as a group. And as people who, you know, uh, have the same mission and vision, uh, I think it's more enjoyable. Okay. So, of course, uh, uh, when we arrived, when all of us arrived, especially those who arrived on Wednesday. On Wednesday? Yes. On Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. They had an opportunity to join the celebration as Tanzania was celebrating their 25th year anniversary. And I would like to say that um, uh, for their 25th year in your life, the company decided to gift them with a new distributor center or what we call an office. So very, very exciting. They were, they were there on Wednesday with all the company executives. They cut reborn they had a tour around the warehouse it's a beautiful beautiful building so it was an exciting opportunity to visit the warehouse when everybody's in high spirit high gear all the distributors from all parts of tanzania had come in to see what was happening and of course like you can see uh, some of our own distributors you know they were there um, to celebrate with them so Tanzania had an opportunity to have distributors from all over East Africa 
celebrating with them. And on the uh, right hand side, I think you can see the Neo Life head office. Yeah, a beautiful glass um, uh, building right there. And of course, some of us are sharing in the chat. Yeah, it is. Oh, that was Thursday. Yes. So, um, yes, feel free to share. Who do you see in this photo? <laughs> Some of us thought that we had traveled to Dar es Salaam. Some people had not traveled to the Dar es Salaam, and I want to say yes. People traveled to Dar es Salaam in whatever way they were there. So that is all about the warehouse. And of course, um, some people had an opportunity to rest. Yeah, they had an opportunity to rest that day. You know, the journey had been long for some people. They went, visited the warehouse. And of course, uh, there's something very interesting that every uh, person in, um, in Dar es Salaam, you know, uh, loves and that is the Azam ice cream. I didn't manage to get a photo of the Azam ice cream, but I think it was a good idea for you to see part of the lifestyle in Dar es Salaam. Okay, so now we had we had a dream team dinner. We had a dream team dinner. And like we had advised, everybody was supposed to dress in black and Ankara. Ankara is also famously known as Chitenji. So people were extremely smart. I want to say this and I want to thank all the people who were there because they followed the dress code. It was a beautiful event very well decorated we had everybody represented you know um in the in the photo you can see when we are cutting the cake we had a representative from congo we had a representative from tanzania we had our president's team members we had a representative from zambia that's prisca on the extreme left so of course we had a very beautiful event. Our MCs were fantastic. Kudos to Jesse and Victor. They did a wonderful job. We played a game of collecting items. And I think it was very entertaining. Of course, this dinner started off, you know, with, um, with a very nice uh, dinner dance that started at five o'clock, I think up until eight. You know, I saw some people having a red carpet experience, walking, you know, on the red carpet while dancing. It was a beautiful, beautiful dinner. And I can say we are going to have many more of these. And that is the dream team, the dream, dream team comprising of people from across the region. So I have some videos of people who uh, were... Um, we are so excited and pulled some very nice moves.
I think you can tell how beautiful the event was. I think you can see um, it was such a beautiful night, beautiful event, and of course represented all ages, all people, excitement. I think you can see Jalia, Dr. Dennis, people were very, very excited. I can say it was such a beautiful event. Make sure that the next time you do not miss, okay? Yeah, then after that, of course, the Dream Team dinner continued. And I think you can see very beautiful faces, people dressed in black and Ankara. And of course, we had uh, a team from uh, Dar es Salaam in the extreme right. We had a Dream Team cake. You can see for some of us who've never seen what our logo looks like. I think you can see the team from uh, Zambia. They were all there. Beautiful gardens, beautiful place. A fantastic, fantastic day that we had. And of course, and of course, the day of the convention. I would not like to go so much into details about what the convention was like and the lessons we learned simply because uh we we simply because uh we had that yesterday jesse gave us some very very good uh, highlights from uh, rico brown from drew mcdami from the pts in darussalam there was a very very good sharing so today i just like to share with you part of the excitement what it was like being in darussalam i know you've seen some of the videos but I want to Okay, that is how excited we were. And of course, you can see uh, Mrs. Bukenya, Miss Rose, Susan, uh, Rose Ntege, very excited. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Okay, the Impact Summit continued. I think you can see very beautiful photos with Mr. Rico Brown. For some of us who do not know who Rico Brown is, Rico Brown is the uh, the vice president of Sales International. So he's responsible for sales for the entire world. So it's a fantastic opportunity to always listen to him and for him to share words of wisdom you know, so one of the things that he said, and I remember yesterday, they shared, um, he told us that it's, um, it's very, very, okay, we had a group of people from Tanzania, you know, blowing uh, vuvuzelas, and he called them horns. He said that it's very, very important that you work hard so that next year they blow the horn for you. So you don't have to blow it for anybody else, but they blow the horn for you. So that was our trip. And of course, in the middle, we have uh, myself, Priska and Chansa from Zambia, who represented the Zambian team. That was very exciting. They also traveled to come and attend. Yeah, so, yeah. So, of course, like you can see, we had our very own winning, you know, uh coming with very nice positions we had our very own participating in the 3 and 30 challenge they came back with the uh, product hampers you know as uh, a meme in uganda had the highest number of registered distributors for the convention so the company gave him a product hamper i think you can see the recognition was exciting it was very nice seeing our very own on stage. So I think you can see the team is putting.
<laughs> okay, fantastic. So, um, of course, we had to close. We had to close um, our convention with a guts by dinner back to 1920. Very, very exciting dinner that we had right there. And at the end of this, I'm going to play the video for you just to have a feel of what it takes to attend a president's consistency dinner. So this is a dinner that is organized every year. And after the convention, if you are a top performer in East Africa, you qualify to attend this dinner. But I want to say that some of the people, this dinner is open, by the way, to every distributor. So you are invited to attend it, provided you do certain things. You have to be consistent at title if you're a WOW team member. And if you're a director, executive manager, manager, you know, distributor, if you make a three in 30, five times, you know, towards the convention, you can be able to attend. So it's very easy to actually attend this dinner. So um, of course, this dinner started off with a 360 camera. Uh, people were very, very, uh, uh, yesterday when we were at the training, uh, uh, I think many of us fail to explain what the 360 camera looks like. So this is what it looks like. You stand on a, on a, on a certain platform and then the camera keeps going round and recording you dancing. So I think you can see uh, how exciting it was. And of course, it was a very nice dinner. People dressed up so nicely. The theme was back to... 1920 so we were given a dress code that's why you see people are wearing gloves dresses with uh, you know very nice uh, frills and uh, you know people were really really smart they really um, uh, dressed up for that dinner very well so I think you can see our very very own uh, team uh, uh, Dr. Kabugo and Mrs. Kabugo at the dinner, Nowabine, Stella Maris. Uh, we had uh, Jalia right there, Maggie, Julie. Oh, it was an exciting dinner. Anybody who attended this dinner will tell you that it was worth attending. And of course, uh, we decided that we are going to have lifestyle. And uh, what we had was lifestyle. And I think you can see everybody was free to go wherever they wanted. So some people had an opportunity to spend a day at the Sour Sour Beach, you know, picnicking, having a good time generally. Yeah, so you can see uh, people having lifestyle. They had good meals. They, they had a fantastic uh, life. You can also see a team from Arua. You know, everybody was there. Basically, it was living life to the fullest. And then the other uh, group of people had an opportunity to go to what they call the Ambudia Island. And of course, they had a boat cruise in what we call a yacht. Yeah, and they were on water for about six hours, eating, drinking, dining, having fun, you know, there's also beds on the on the boat. So you there are toilets, there are beds, there is a kitchen. So you can have a good time as you relax. So that was Mbudia Island. And like you can see, um those are the boats. Yes. Actually, I told one of the distributors that before you work hard to make it to the Silverado, uh to to Jerry just Jerry Brassfield's boat. You can try the uh, the boat cruise, yeah. So we had an opportunity to go for the boat cruise, and it was a fantastic experience. Fantastic experience, you know, dancing, having fun on water for six hours. It was very very exciting. So um, in the interest of time, you know, there's so much that we could show you. I would just like to close off by playing a video for the consistency dinner so that you can have a feel of exactly what it was like. Because I think 
that should be our goal. If you work towards going for the consistency dinner, maybe then you will realize that you will have an opportunity to, you know, um, uh, uh, be recognized at the convention. So Andrew, can you kindly help me share the video of the consistency dinner and we'll wrap up with it. So that was a dinner that was worth attending. So um, I would like to congratulate you for all being on this call today. And I hope you have been inspired by some of the highlights uh, from the Dar es Salaam trip. And I am sure that next year you are going to plan to be there. You are going to make it. You are going to be you know, part of the team that we are going to, you know, we are going to uh, uh, be uh, filming and, you know, sharing the excitement that you had with others. So uh, I'm very excited and I look forward to seeing you all on the next, you know, leadership summit. Yes, from uh, from Dr. Eseza, uh, yeah, Cape Town. We shall have more fun in Cape Town. So let's go out and work. Let's do what it takes. I know you are going to make it to the top. Thank you very much and have a lovely weekend. <laughs>